Hello all, it's Jim Johnson, a.k.a. Sulphur Blade, and welcome back with my continued War on the Sea Let's Play series in which we're featuring the United States of America and her allies, Australia and Great Britain. Um, we're utilizing the Tokyo Express mod on the stable variant of the game. With that being said, let us jump right into the game. Okay, so... <clears throat> I've been informed by Admiral King that I am to dispatch uh, at the request of Lord Admiral Coven of Australia a Cimarron class tanker to help with Australians' uh, logistical uh, needs. Evidently, they they're relying on two old, outdated tankers that do not have nearly the capacity of our Cinnamaran class. So we are going to attempt to comply with our uh, allies request and assist them in their endeavors. <clears throat> so at New Hebrides I'm going to go ahead and Find me the Cinnamon Oiler. We're going to form that there, and we are not going to send her out without an escort. So they did not re request a Clemson, but they are going to end up with a Clemson because I'm not going to send out an Oiler alone. <clears throat> So, uh, wow, we're, we're, we're running through these quite quickly. Um, the Talbot, that's, that sounds like a, a, a name that would fit for, for the Aussies. So the Talbot and the Cimarron. Let's just go ahead and rename this, uh, Oz... Quest Fleet. This is a temporary name. Uh, she will get added to one of the current existing fleets, the Oil Group One. Alright, so we have complied with Lord Admiral Colvin's request for some U.S. assistance to help them with their logistical issues back in Australia. <clears throat> I.e., from a non-roleplay perspective, that is how I'm going to uh, slightly get around the separation of CP. Now, you will notice that I created this fleet all the way over here in New Hebrides. That's because it's coming from the American CP, uh, from the American CP pocketbook. So I don't feel I'm I'm cheating here because this is a long sail for a very slow ship uh, when it could have been created here at Cairns, but. Again, the Australian pocketbook is currently empty. It doesn't have an ACP, so I can't create it there. So I'm, I'm creating these false rules in my mind completely for roleplay purposes to, to make, the, make the thing, make this a little more interesting as you have the U.S. having to cooperate with its allies 
they're they're not one command not one unified command they're separate commands trying to work together as a cohesive unit and i want to simulate that to an effect <clears throat> so that's what we're going to do that's my story and i'm sticking to it all right uh so evidently we got uh reports of another fishing trawler being sunk uh so we have a general idea that there's a submarine operating here which uh is close to oil group one's uh course so they might get a run-in with that particular sub and we are going to retask uh sub pack one and have her set course to find the Yamato <clears throat> or have them set course to find the Yamato whether or not we're going to use them to try to sink the Yamato is a different story I just want to have eyes on the Yamato or I don't want it to escape because I think we, we have a good opportunity to well isolate her and possibly sink her with that being said let's start the time Right, it's it's evening. There's not a lot of things going on, so we're just gonna crank it right up to three hundred times. Wait for this one soul Catalina to make its way back. Five o'clock is approaching rapidly. Our sub pack hasn't found anything yet. I actually kind of would have assumed that would have happened at this point. All right, Wasp, you're going to set your course northerly. I want you to be in a situation to bring more firepower to bear on the Yamato remnant if we find it. In fact, you'll probably be needed to help find it. So let's go ahead Launching groups of six. You'll fly something like that. something like that
will we find the Yamato? Interesting. Fighters found. I kept some wildcats back for that. We're going to jump to tactical here. Atlanta. Wasp. Radar's on. Uh, you guys can turn yours on as well. Might as well. God, the game does some wild and crazy crap. Why can't you guys just fly a flight straight freaking out? Uh, zeros we know have about 500 ish endurance which is a fairly long So they could easily come from Guadalcanal. Um, I don't think they're going to come from Florida Islands because that says float planes. Santa Isabella says float planes. Shortland Island says float planes. So these just don't. Having zeros here and having zeros here, if these are zeros doesn't make sense if they're all coming from Guadalcanal which is telling me that yet again we have another carrier out there are you kidding me <clears throat> um, yeah we have no types of fighters here and I'm just gonna RTB you guys
You're just gonna fly over to the float plane base and just sit there, huh? That's cheesy. And here we got another one. All right, Wildcats. Zero. Are you kidding me right now? Another carrier. Where'd the Yamato go? <clears throat> um, okay. Wasp, lunch. New Hebrides. Hmm. So the fortress is out. Sixteen hundred pounders. Duck must be resolved, huh? Where's this? 
the carrier. There's the Yamato. Well, we are out of position. Duck dive. Ships. Indeed. Plane. Excellent. I mean, I suppose we should uh -oh. get a sneak peek of what's going on over here. It's an actual flat top. Are you kidding me right now? We're not kidding you right now. Kind of looks like the Rio, but there's no island. Am I going the wrong direction? This looks right, but where's the island? So, here's the island, which makes it look like it's in the rear of the ship, but surely that ship is sailing that way. So, this is forward? Oh, this is forward. It is in the front of the ship. Okay. This is a Shokaku! Are you kidding me right now? How the... No way! How can Japan afford a Shikaku? I'm starting to call serious shenanigans here. This is just getting outrageous. No way! <clears throat> okay, so we, we got a Shikaku class here. That's a thing. I mean, it's going to be a lot of points for us. A very tasty meal, that's for sh darn sure. All right, let's 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 watch our fighters do their thing. This duck's in trouble. You missed me.
It's still chasing me. How have you guys not cleared my tail? Third zero showing up. More zeros showing up. This is it's getting ugly fast. Oh my god, this is getting really ugly fast. Wildcats are down. No, 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 I didn't want to do that. Interns limited.
not exactly. Pray for me. Sink a Chicago. This is the the big cheese. This is this is Japan's big fleet carrier, man. This is this is gonna really hurt them going to be a giant monumental victory right here this is this is a I don't know um, wildcats you're not in position of course Guys engaging. Right, one and three dogfight at will. God, this is not looking good. <clears throat> They're everywhere. It's going to be a massacre. Target, get to target. One and three, go back to your original mission. Let's watch our valiant heroes. <clears throat> I'll gladly lose an entire Dauntless Wing to sink a Shikaku. Tanking. 
14. No, 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 no. You're not dogfighting anymore. You are going back to finish your mission. And three. You're not dogfighting anymore. Finish your mission. Mm. <clears throat> Wildcat's going into a fur ball over the fleet. What is the report on the Chicago? Heavy, heavy. These last two bombs could be big. It's sinking! Whew. Well, goodbye airplanes. It was a slaughter. the rest of the slaughter. What's with Seven? Where is Seven? I think Seven will escape. Seven, lucky number Seven is gonna get away. I don't know how, but it's just gonna happen because I'm, I'm gonna make sure it happens. <clears throat> It'll be the person that comes home to tell about the story. Ouch. It's it's ouch in two ways. It's ouch for my aircraft, but it's ouch for Japan. They just lost a Shikaku. Oh my god. Alright, so that's another 36 command points for us, which takes us up to 87. We might be able to afford that sur surface action group yet. RTB, please, folks. You guys are going to change target back to the Yamato Battle Group can find them. Wasp, you're going to, uh, well, you're kind of going to retire. Head back away from all of these angry surface ships. Yeah, with all the angry surface ships floating around up there, the, the Australia is completely perplexed as to, I'm not going up that way. No way. Let's just go back to our defensive routine. What is following me here? Is it a float plane? Or is it the remnants of the Shikaku? I mean, I'm concerned we've got the remnants of the Shikaku on our tail here. I don't know what happens when the carrier sinks with planes in the air. I assume they 
can still accomplish their missions. Um, Dauntless. Let's jump in and find out what that is. Better to know now than later. Just a float plane. All right, Dauntless. Uh, can dogfight if you like. And that float plane, he's like, yeah, I'm going to try to return the favor. I'm going to bomb me a flat top. Or a destroyer escort. The destroyer escorting the carrier. Not the D. You know you're not going to get anywhere near that, right? That flak is just going to cut you down, buddy. I'm confident in the carrier's flak potential. Well, I... I am uh, competent in it, but... Maybe I shouldn't be? Lucky number seven is going to take down this spotter. The one, the one person who made it through the great battle of sinking the Shikaku to tell about it. He, he's not going to get shot down by a float plane. Never going to happen, right? watch as the float plane shoots down lucky number seven who never actually gets to land and report back the what happened
Not in detail. I'm sure he's radioed the fact that their mission was successful. Probably open up. Really, you could fire. Why haven't you fired? You're gonna get yourself shot down. Come on, shoot. Jesus. Did I really have to tell it to shoot? <clears throat> B-17s change your course. You're going after the Yamato. Alright, Dauntlesses. to target I'm going to commit war crimes war crimes are being committed sink the hospital ship aye aye captain We know it's transporting Brit or, uh, Japanese infantry, no doubt about it. You know every pilot in the fleet's like, but sir, the Yamato's right there. Are you sure you don't want us to drop our ordnance on the Yamato? No. Take out that hospital ship. Yes, sir. I wonder if uh, 12 Dauntlesses is overkill for a hospital ship. She seems to be sinking rather quickly. Sadly, we lost five Dauntlesses in the attack.
Yamato, you want to finish her off? I'm sure you want to run into her and make sure she goes down properly. What's going on here? Are you trying to wash the Yamato again? These, sh these two ships, they really like to be close to each other. They, they seem to have a strong attraction. <clears throat> I wonder what happens when you when you made a Yamato with a... What heavy cruiser is this? Um, is it a Furutaka? direction. One gun aft. Aoba maybe? Yeah, I think it's an Aoba. So so what do you get when an Aoba and a Yamato mate? That is a good question. <clears throat> anyway, it's probably time to leave. The hospital ship has pretty much sunk. So we got another five extra points for the American side. That brings it up to 92. And the Aussies have nothing. Dauntlesses, you can RTB. Okay. Couple of wildcats up here against what?
Alright, if they weren't going to attack by now, they're not going to attack. Wait, just a cotton picking moment. What? Oh. Well, it shows, still shows the the carrier icon, even though it's not. And it's clearly looking like it's trying to pursue our, our carrier, which is problematic. Um, hmm. Which, pick your poison, huh? Um... Had a lot of fun with the Havocs, but you know, Catalinas could be very interesting. Yeah, we're going to try a flight of Catalinas with Torps. And if they want to chase, well, they can chase. They can chase right into the mouth of Torps. Again. Start. dealing with. Ah, okay. So, they're not zeros. That was Guadalajara Canal's fighter planes. So we should have pretty much defanged Japan in this area as far as fighter planes are concerned. Between the sinking of the Shikaku and what we just shot down that likely came from Guadalajara Canal. <clears throat>
too tactical. Wait, what's that? So these B-17s are uh, long-range fighter planes. Most ridiculous thing ever. Shoot him down already. <clears throat> well, any surprise attack on the fleet went away, I'm sure. Like, look at the fireworks in the air over there. What's going on? I don't know. It looks like B-17s are chasing our flow planes. Yeah, I think that's what's happening, sir.
everybody. Target the heavy cruiser. Wait, we're not going after the... No, we're not going after the Yamato. The heavy cruiser. We're going to let the Yamato watch every fleet in her... Or every ship in her task force be destroyed before her eyes. She's going to know that she was useless to be able to defend her colleagues. Everyone has dropped. Head on out of here, please. Raindrops are falling on your head. Hopefully, enough will actually hit you. Five fairly scattered, not all in one place. I have a good feeling that might that might do her in. <clears throat> critical, critical. That's what we want to see. She goes. And then there were only two. The Yamato and the Destroyer. Wait, what's this? Hello. Um, big formation, please. And speed up, guys. you little devil. Wait, there's more. There are more. We'll, we'll let them come attack us, actually. Unless they're zeros, I don't really fear them. <clears throat> the fortresses have proved that they're fairly effective while flying away from the targets at dealing with their pursuers.
increase speed slightly, let him catch up. I want to shoot him down. speed a little bit more. Alright, now we can speed up. Just speed up during this? Oh well. <clears throat> Alright, slow down a little bit guys. Let's let them get a little closer. Thankfully, we have a uh, never ending tail gun ammo. Is the target close enough? So when is our flak effective? 
at under a thousand yards. Can we do something crazy like reform the Vic on 12? That, uh, that's been finished. Okay, so we've shot down three planes and sunk a heavy cruiser. Another seven command points for the Americans, bringing us up to, what, 99? <clears throat> Go ahead and RTB. Um, new air. Let's send up the Havocs with rockets. Yes, you are. You are going to take the destroyer away from the Yamato. No more friends for the Yamato. The Yamato doesn't get friends.
it's still mid-afternoon. 11 o'clock, huh? Catalinas. All right, I to totally forgot I sent them out. What kind of range do they have? 250 more nautical miles? I mean, maybe. We could possibly catch the Yamato with them. <clears throat> there goes the Havocs, passing up the Catalinas like they're standing still. At least the Havocs will get to station, be able to pinpoint exactly where uh, the Yamato is. Because the Catalinas aren't going to have the endurance to do much searching. farther away than I thought they'd get. Um, 80. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to reach that. Alright, let's look for the original target. This will be a fun little attack. wreak some havoc. Sadly, we lost two Havocs. Was hoping that wouldn't happen.
and we'll watch you sinky. No more compliment for you, Yamato. You're all alone. It's a lonely world for you. <clears throat> Three more points. Up to one out two. Catalina, where is that fleet at? Let's just jump into tactical here. Hoping to see something, but we're not seeing anything. Should have marked it better. Um, with your last bit of endurance, head that way. No, 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 just stop. Stop. All right, go to tactical here. Press the wrong damn button. Oh well. It is what it is. It's been a good day. We sunk, sunk the Shikaku, got rid of the rest of the uh, ships escorting the Yamato, left it all alone. Engineering Group 1. Interesting. An ASW exercise. Sounds like fun. All right. Um, C3. Break. All back. C3. Break. All back. This is assuming those guys are going to be targeted. Sonar on. Go ahead and break. Come down to 12 knots. And 12 knots. You're right there. Okay. Make your course like so. course like oh shut up um stop evading hives hazards just turn that way slow down Torpedoes are being fired. Where are they heading? Uh, 
at this C3, assuming it's going forward. Actually, are they still pathing? It's going to be tight. I think the C3 is fine. I need to concentrate on the NOAA. Why are you going 16 knots? Slow down. Well, you should be targeting. Gilmer? Rudder amidships? Four knots is fine. can't take it. Yeah, we're gonna be okay. Toss one in there.
Gilmer all back. Oh, she's stinking. I heard her blow her, her balance. She's not coming up. She's still going down. <clears throat> she's not going to shoot at us at all. She's about to implode, actually. Might as well watch the explosion. In fact, Noah, you've you've ran away enough. Some Aussie CP points here. Type A sunk. Interesting. And that gets four command points for the Australian command. Amphib Group 2 done. Are you close enough that you can do stuff? Um, you are just going to straight out need to be released. Okay. I think we're going to continue to use you. You guys are fine. All right, so that means we're going to need American chips. We're going to go with one of you. Done. Let's just highlight you and merge you. And another 
Here's C3. Whoops. Done. I let you merge you. Okay, so we replaced the other one. We now have an oiler. And I want to throw in an escort, another escort with you. Um, I don't want to use up all of these particular Clemsons. So let's throw in a little spice of variety and try out this class. What is really the difference here? So we got four four inch guns that are dual purpose compared to these four four inch guns dual purpose. There's torpedoes on these guys. No, okay, so torpedoes is the primary difference here. Right, radars are the same, slightly different armor on the superstructure. All right, we'll grab one of these. Yeah, that'll do for now, I think. Sure. Let's go ahead and just redo our formation. Hmm. Not symmetrical, not really. Um, three column? I kind of like that. Sidomarin, you'll take the one position. Five and four. We'll go to the C3s, which leaves three, six, and two as the destroyer escorts with, yeah, I like that one being in the center. Oh, you have more ammo. Let's follow those torps. Okay. And let's just rearm this guy, these guys. Ah, now you have the same ammo. You're just out of ammo because you're shooting at crap. Okay. Now manage cargo. You're obviously a fuel tanker, so you'll take fuel. Um, troops, troops. Troops. I 
take our tech trips, we need some supply. We do. Because mm. I want to haul engineering and oil troops and supply at the same time, I'm going to need another C3. see Formation's still fine. Okay. Now let's manage that cargo. You were going to be carrying supply. Okay, so we got supply, we've got troops, engineering. Troops, 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 and fuel. Right now we're certainly we're cooking with we're cooking with propane here. Uh, that's some serious hauling capacity right there. Well, semi-serious. It is. It is what it is. It, it's it's effective. We've got an effective amphibious group on the U.S. side of the house, I believe. We'll roll with that for now. So that brings the American total down to 62. Interesting. Do you take on the shape of the number one ship in the in the formation? Is that how it works? No. Whatever. Uh, it's fine. Actually, this is probably decent spot to wrap up stop no going the wrong way this is probably a decent spot to wrap up the episode so we know that there's a never-ending stream of carriers showing up in this neighborhood I don't know why but we just yeah we just sunk the Shikaku so fifth carrier of the campaign huge loss that's that's a giant super carrier right there we're quickly I mean how many carriers does let's just look at that Japan by by carrier shall we All right, they've got these. We haven't sunk any of them. The Hosho is gone. Okay, Anyos. 
one of them is already gone. So there's two of those. Zuihos. There's two of those. There's one of these. That one sunk. Okay, so there's seven possible carriers still. The Chicago has been sunk, so there's still another super carrier left, eight. So eight to ten more carriers before we decarrier. Honestly, okay. There's the Hosho. We we've sunk more, so that's two. There's the third. Chicago is the fourth, and then yeah, I'm not counting the silly. Uh, where are they? They're under cruisers. Approximately ten carriers left and five carriers sunk. So we've 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 sunk one third of Japan's carrier potential at this point in time. And we're still in the first week. So I do feel like we're winning the air war. I mean all we have is the wasp. All we've used so far is the wasp. Our one carrier has effectively already taken out five carriers even though it hasn't done it personally it's you know one carrier still standing versus five carriers sunk uh, and we still have you know lots of carriers in reserve so Japan should be feeling the sting at this point uh, the, the carriers appearing before us day after day should probably stop if I see another carrier tomorrow, I'm probably just going to scream and be like, this is redonkulous. Um, I th think we have a, a slight problem here with the Tokyo Express mod and how it's just handing me carrier after carrier to kill on a silver platter. Um, it's It feels like the whole snowballing thing where it needs to slow down in putting the ships out there. There's 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 far too much Japanese ships out in the world to be sunk instantaneously. Anyway, that's that's my viewpoint on it. Uh I am James Johnson aka Software Blade Hope Hopefully you're enjoying this content. If so, please leave a like and subscribe. And until the next time all, peace.